Good morning to Angie Bartholomew. Good morning. Good morning, Shane. Good morning to you as well. And we've got your uh, Dakota College of Botano spot ready to go. And there is something very exciting coming up. It, w it would be the first weekend in June, the 7th and 8th. It's a Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, uh, it's not even a weekend. 8th. No, no. Even better. Yeah, <laughs> save even those better. weekends. Save those weekend <laughs> days for some beautiful days. This is the fourth part of an exciting series that you've been, that you've been doing over the years. And uh, what can we expect? What are we calling it? Well, this is um, our Natural Resource Institute, and this year we're focusing on Earth's land and soil resources. Okay. And um, we're sponsored in part by um, the North Dakota Natural Resource Trust and USDA um, and the Department of Agriculture. So. Oh, okay, and this is coming up on Wednesday and Thursday, June 7th and 8th. Now, what what is the purpose? What are we doing? Well, we're just trying to... Um, educate people about our resources and we've kind of picked one theme each year mm -hmm. this year we're focusing on la our land and our soils um, and the productivity of those so we're gonna do some activities from the egg in the classroom matrix which is an open resource for all kind, all educators, formal, informal, can be a 4-H leader, can be a Girl Scout, Boy Scout leader. Um, activities for they can use for their clubs. They could use in the classroom. I'm currently using one to help my granddaughter do a 4-H project mm -hmm. for the fair. So, oh wow! So anybody that is has any interest in that area would and could use those materials we would invite to join us. So this is this is not like for just a, ver a, a, a super select group of people. This no. is literally for anybody who has an interest in this kind of thing, yes. you can use it. Yes, this matrix contains fi over 500 different classroom ready activities or not necessarily classroom, whatever your uh -huh. classroom is. Everybody's classroom is a little different. Um, so there's about over 500 activities and wow. they're um, constantly getting changed and updated um, and that's why they're available as an open resource instead of like in a, a solid paperback book okay. so that they can be constantly um, adjusted um, and then there are additional activities that go with these as well so sure. uh, so and they're identified by age group so you have you know the uh, primary grades you have kids that are middle schoolers you have activities for high schoolers and I've even used some of the high school activities um, at the college level we okay. did we tested some of them this spring so I made sure that they were good quality um, activities and so I did some of these activities in my own classroom at Dakota College okay and they went over very well nice yes so let okay so it's a two-day event wednesday and thursday let's start on wednesday what what can the participants expect on wednesday okay so wednesday we're going to focus on that matrix okay we're going to learn how to use it we're going to spend some time looking through different activities um, we're going to have a guest speaker that's going to talk about um, some of the land management issues okay uh, we're going to fly some drones. Nice. And we're going to learn how those drones can be used um, in agriculture as well as in natural resources. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's our first day. Uh, it's going to be full and busy. Right. Uh, there will be very little sitting and listening. Uh, it'll be more activity-based. Okay. And then on Thursday. Now, also... Um, are, are the people staying at the college, or what is they that? They can if they are oh, okay. from out of town. Yes, we will put them up in our in our dorms, and so that's available to people from out of town okay. that want to stay over instead of drive. Yep. Okay. And then Thursday, what can we what can we? Expect? Well, Thursday we're gonna go and experience firsthand. We're gonna board a van and take it to the Peace Gardens. We have a a tour. In the Peace Gardens, we're going to actually go back into their greenhouses um, and and look at the production of the plants that go into okay. the gardens at the greenhouse. Um, and we're going to visit some of those gardens. We're going to visit the Game Wardens Museum. And then we're going to travel to the Foskey Pollinator Garden. Um, and we're going to get a tour of that fabulous uh, 
place uh, with the Foskies. Okay. And have lunch there. Um, and then we'll come back to Botno. And then we'll um, go through a few things, the formalities for the people that are the formal educators mm -hmm. so that they can get their college credit for that, their graduate credit for that. So there is a lot of activities planned for these two days. Yes. Now, there are, now let's say there's somebody who's like really super interested in this and they're going, okay, but that sounds all fine, but what does it cost me? Well, we're asking a $25 that will pay for food and um, for them to stay in the dorms. But um, so that's, that's what it would cost if you're not doing the credit. Um, the graduate credit is a $50 recording fee. So let's just say, let's say me, mm -hmm. me, myself, and I, 25 bucks. Yeah. I can stay at the college. Mm -hmm. I can eat at the college. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. That's, that's, that's amazing. Yes. That is an amazing price. How do we sign up for this? Okay. So in, on our website, um, Dakota College, there's a banner at the top that says explore DCB. There's one link. It's on the upper right hand mm -hmm. corner and it's a drop down. And when you drop it down, you'll see the Natural Resource Institute. You click on that, it'll open it up. It'll go over everything I talked about today. And at the bottom, you just put your name and your phone number, your contact in there. And you don't have to pay right away. If you want to pay when you come, that's fine. Okay. It just submit it so I know you're coming. So I have plans and enough materials sure. for everybody that's coming. Wow. Um, one other thing that we're going to do is one of the activities we're going to do is about how diseases spread. So it's not just about agriculture, but we're also going to do something on, we're going to do a DNA extraction. We're going to do um, this disease spread, and then we're going to send you home with uh, the persons, the people participating home with a kit that's ready made so they can just take it into their classroom and use it. Uh, see, now that's a lot of stuff that you're getting for, for a very, very low price. Mm -hmm. Even if you're going for the, the, the credit course, it's still unbelievable. Uh, space is limited, though, correct? Yes, yes. So I have to be able to get everybody up to the Peace Gardens. Right, right. So that's the main limitation. So okay. if you're at all interested, um, I'd in encourage you to sign up right away. Um, I still have space, mm -hmm. but um, again getting people to the Peace Gardens is going to be um, the problem. So. They're, they're going to want to sign up, definitely. Yes. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, again, a, a fun, fun filled two days, Wednesday and Thursday, uh, June 7th and 8th, and sounds amazing. Uh, Angie, anything else you'd like to add? No, I appreciate the chance to talk about yeah. um, this program, and um, we hope we can continue it with something different next year. We've talked about, we've spent one session talking about water, we talked one about the forest and the uh, woodland ecosystems. Mm -hmm. We spent time, uh, our last one was on the wildlife. Um, this one's on the soil. We'd like to do a uh, wet and wild aquatic for next year. So, Well, let's keep them people coming, <laughs> right? Yes, I hope right. so. Angie, yes. thank you very much. Appreciate thank you. your time today, right? All right, thank you very much, and uh, hope to see you again soon. Yes, and they can also send me an email. Um, at Angela.Bartholome at DakotaCollege.edu. Sounds great. All right. Thank you very much.